Red Dead Redemption 2 has arguably some of the best looking horses in realistic video game history. In the base game, there are around 19 different breeds with a handful of coat variations each. But did you know that you can mod custom horses? A few months ago, I began this journey of modding the game, including the discovery of hundreds of custom coats and even breeds. If you want to see some of my favourites, I made a video on them. But back to the topic at hand, throughout the development of Red Dead Redemption 2, many horse codes were actually deleted from the game, or I guess never released. Luckily for us, remnants ranging from pictures to the coat names still remain in some of the files. Therefore, some extremely talented modders in the community have used this information to try and restore some of the deleted horse codes for us to play around with today. I don't have too much in-depth information on why these horses were deleted, only knowing that a handful of coats were simply given to a different breed, whilst others were completely brand new and unseen in the game, removed for whatever reason. So let's just jump into them, and of course I will leave the link to the mod in the description. If you need a tutorial on how to download custom coats, as always the Abigail Pinehaven mods playlist is where you need to go, I followed these myself. Just a quick little note, I do have a reshade on which enhances the saturation a bit so these horses might look ever so slightly different in your game. Albino Turkoman is the first horse on our list. The Turkoman horse has seven coat colors in the original game, black, chestnut, dark bay, gold, gray, perlino, and silver. If you were to compare them, the Albino Turkoman is probably most similar to the perlino, so it's understandable why this horse might have been cut. However, for the horse nerds out there, we all know that just because they look the same doesn't mean they are. In fact, another reason the Albino Turkoman might have been cut is because there are no reported cases of a true Albino horse in real life, according to Horse Properties International. Cromellos and Perlinos actually used to be known as Albino in some horse association registers, but these were changed in the late 1900s to the very early 2000s. I always somehow end up going wrong when I talk about horse coats here, no matter how much research I try to do and I try to understand, but I think it is safe to say that Rockstar probably removed this coat because of the similarities to the Perlino. The mod's recreation of an albino Turkoman does have blue eyes, which commonly on other albino mammals such as mice or rabbits, they typically have reddish skins and unpigmented skin and white fur. So I'm not sure if this creator was going by the coat name of albino and got confused or something, or whether there was maybe a picture of this horse. But either way, the albino and the Perlino look very similar to me. We now have a small group of American standard bred horses who did not quite make the cut. The first being the Amber Champagne Coat, and I honestly found this horse very beautiful. The American standard bred only has 5 horse coats by default, the Black Buckskin, Light Buckskin, Palomino Apple, and Silver Tail Buckskin. If I was to find a replacement for the Amber Champagne in game, it is mostly like a merge of some of the other coats already featured on the American standard bred. There is also actually a Missouri Foxtrotter with the Amber Champagne coat pattern, so potentially this coat is one that was used elsewhere like I mentioned in the intro. When I tried googling much about this horse in real life, I actually just just get like a ton of RDR2 websites, so it's hard to say about this horse's realism. Moving to the next American standard bread though, we have the Strawberry Roan. Now this is definitely a coat color we see in other horses such as the Ardennes, but I definitely wish we got to see some more colors on the standard bread as well. to our first very unique of the video and potentially the only extremely unique one, the Mosaic American Standard Bread. I am actually a little gutted and admittedly heartbroken that this horse wasn't in the main game, but at least we have mods on the PC. I couldn't find much information about Mosaic as a horse coat in the real world, however this horse does remind me of the Chimera coats I have seen and probably mispronouncing. 
I even feature them in my previous custom codes video. Although this kind of pattern is extremely rare in real life, it's definitely one that I think could have spiced up the American standard breads a bit. Our next horse is very simple, a Bay Kentucky Mountain Saddler. In the base game, the Kentucky Saddler comes with five coat colors, black, buttermilk, buckskin, chestnut, pinto, gray, and silver bay. It's often weird to not see bay as an option when browsing horses, as it is one of the most common horse colors. Silver bay is the most similar in this case, the silver however coming from the white mane and tail, whereas bay horses typically have, you know, the black mane. I saw a few drawings of a Bay Kentucky Saddler, which is where I'm guessing the idea of this deleted horse came from. Honestly, another super solid horse coat, which I think is beautiful, and it's a bit of a shame they ended up covering this horse out. Second Kentucky Mountain Saddler is a Brindle variant. In the real world, the Brindle coat marking is one of the rarest. In the game, we do however have the Brindle Thoroughbred, and similar but not quite the same, we have the Warped Brindle Arabian. The Brindle Thoroughbred looks pretty similar to the Kentucky Saddler in this mod, so I would assume that once again this might have been the case where the coat colour was just used elsewhere. Similar to the bay horse we had before, we now have the Black Arabian. Another very simple coat, but it's still a very common coat colour and loved by the community. The Morgan horses by default only have four horse coats, five if you include what I'm assuming to be an NPC horse. We have both the flaxen chestnut and liver chestnut, which I find an odd choice over an entirely different coat of black, but maybe they thought there was already too many black horses in the game. In fact... Along the same lines, we have the Black Mustang, another seemingly basic horse to cut, but I feel like the most popular horses are the bays and blacks. The Mustang horses have eight coats in the game, including the Black Averro. A handful of these horses are actually paint horses, including the Chestnut Averro as another example. They probably decided not to clog the game down with another black variant alongside the Black Averro. Let me know, would you have preferred the Black Averro or the Plain Black Mustang? Maggie is actually Lenny's gang horse. The mod replaces the original Lenny horse with this Palomino Mustang. Since the mod page didn't have a lot of information per horse breed, I have had to try and do some research myself, but I couldn't find too much information for some of these horses. I suppose we can come to the conclusion here that Rockstar had a different horse in mind for Maggie before changing it. Either way, we don't have a Palomino Mustang anyways, and it would have been fun to see. Some people have deduced that Lenny's current gang horse is still a Mustang either way. The next deleted horse we have is the Dark Bay Dutch Warmblood. Unfortunately, in the main game, we only have three coat colors for the Dutch Warmblood. The Chocolate Roan, Seal Brown, and Sooty Buckskin. The Seal Brown is a solid brown horse for the game, but the Dark Bay is of course slightly different and I kind of fell in love with it. Another simple basic horse, but honestly, I think it would, be, it would have been nice to still have some more Dutch Warmblood variations. Flaxen Chestnut Thoroughbred from this mod doesn't remind me of a typical Flaxen Chestnut. Instead, this horse does more remind me of like a Silver Bay colouring. Perhaps a simple name mix-up or slight issues with the colouring. Either way, neither coat we have in the game, whether it is meant to be Flaxen Chestnut or a Silver Bay. The Thoroughbred simply only has the Black Chestnut, Blood Bay, Brindle, Dapple Grey, and the Reverse Dapple Black. 
We do see this flaxen chestnut or silver bay on other coats in the game, such as before we had the Kentucky Saddler. So maybe that's why it was deleted from the thoroughbreds. Kind of longer list of coat colors already. The light buckskin Dakota could have been a fun mix up between the three coat colors we have in the game, being the blue roan, reverse dapple roan, and the white roan. I actually think this light buckskin horse is really pretty on the Dakota model as well. Something just fell off my desk. <laughs> it's actually rather interesting that we only have roan coat colors on the Nakota, but a light buckskin must have been considered. Similar to the Morgans, the Hungarian half-bred horses have only four coat colours, with two being both the flaxen and the liver chestnut. Two variations of the Hungarian half-bred were actually removed from the game. Firstly, we have this Perlino coat. This colour isn't very similar to the other Hungarian half-breds, so it would have been a nice change of pace. But Perlinos also aren't uncommon to find in Red Dead Redemption 2, so maybe that's why they went in a different direction. The second Hungarian half-bred removed was the Sooty Buckskin. We do see this colour on the Dutch Warmblood, so maybe it was simply moved. I actually once again really like this coat colour on the breed with a mix of brown, black and dapples. The Wild Bay Arabian is the last horse on our list. The Arabians have been a very popular horse in the community, especially if you care for the stats of horses. We have the Black Grey, Red Chestnut, Rose Grey Bay, Warped Brindle and finally the infamous White. With a list like that with variation, I suppose the Wild Bay might not have been missed. In the equestrian community, some even find the Arabian a difficult horse to love because of its small size, but if you do have mods, then you can actually change the size of the Arabian. We do see this Wild Bay coat colour on the Mustang horse spread, so it's not being completely removed, but I do enjoy this coat colour either way on the Ra Arabian as well. So, which deleted horse was your favourite? And how mad are we that they can't be found in the base game? Apologies console players. Let me know what other custom horses you would like me to cover next and whether you enjoy these Red Dead Redemption 2 horse videos. I actually have a small handful of more horses which were deleted, so maybe we will check that out next time. On the screen right now is my previous custom coats video with some more unique horses you can add to your game if you enjoy modding. I love you all so much and I will see you all next time. Bye!